Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a mixed media owl piece. Um, I used a couple of supplies and I will have them all linked in the video description below and where you can get them. Um, so I basically wanted to go ahead and try a black and white with a pop of color. Um, so originally I wanted to do this with water soluble graphite, which is what I'm using now, and ink tents. Um, but along the way, I kind of decided that I wasn't really thrilled with the control that I was getting. Um, so I did switch to graphite and colored pencil for on top of this, which I do think it worked out really well. The water soluble graphite and the ink tints did give me a very nice base to work with. And I think the end result turned out really well. So I'm really happy with that. So, as I said before, I started off this piece with the Water Soluble Graphite and the Ink Tents line um, by Derwent. And I believe the Water Soluble Graphite is by Faber Castell. And I'm using um, the black Derwent Ink Tents pencil to get the really dark, dark base. And then I will go back in and put the mid tones in um, with the uh, Water Soluble graphite pencil that I'm using right now. Um, so a lot has been going on. Um, still moving offices and um, still moving it all in general, but I did finally finish this piece and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I have a couple things that I'm working on and I decided that I was going to participate in Mermay. So um, there won't be a video every day, but I will be posting on my Instagram every day in the month of May. Um, so make sure you are following me on Instagram if you want to see that. I will leave links to all of that information in the video description. I also um, decided to dip my hands into some digital art. Um, so I uh, look forward to a video on that here pretty soon. Um, I'm doing a review of the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil and Procreate, and I'm having a lot of fun with that. We are just coming um, back off from spring break. Um, my kids went back to school this morning, and my daughter is doing a lot better. Um, so there's been more time for doodling and doing a little bit of art. So um, my goal is to, I have like a new routine in place to where I have a certain amount of time to where I draw every day. Um, but depending on how, you know, the day is going, you never know what can, what can happen <laughs> when you're a parent or a special needs mom in general. Um, so I'm allowing myself to kind of just draw where I can draw and not worry so much about it being caught on video. Um, so the bright side of the iPad Pro and the Procreate app is that it actually records a time lapse for you, which is really nice. So I will be able to move around and still make a video without being um, tied to my desk if I don't want to. Um, so that's going to be a really nice um, addition to this channel because I'll be able to do a lot more content without actually having to make sure I have an SD card and um, my camera is good and the batteries are charged and everybody's you know situated and I can just kind of be very mobile and just kind of go where I need to go and still make a video in the process so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, sorry I don't know like if you guys officially want to me to explain what I'm doing like I feel like it's I'm a visual learner so I can visually see what's going on and I can learn that way um, but I mean I'm just working in light layers and blending out with paint thinner for the colored pencil portions and then laying down um, light layers of graphite and then blending a little bit with the blending stumps that I have or the tortillions or whatever you want to call them. If you don't have any of that, you can use a Q-tip and whatnot. Um, but yet I'm working on the eyes right now and I do have, I don't know if I mentioned this already, I think I did, but um, I will have, I will have a card pop up and you can check out that last video and see um, 
how I do that in, in a slower version. And it will also get you caught up on the updates if you're a little confused as to what I'm talking about right now. Um, but yeah, I really, um, this piece actually took me a long time to finish because um, my daughter was having such a hard time and then spring break was there and um, all of that. So it was hard to work on this piece. So I made myself finish it today. I was like, all right, this is it. I have a new a new thing that I want to do. And my, um, my goal with Mermaid is to have like a really nice body of work that I can make a collection out of. And I would like to put it in a book at the end um, just so I can have you know like a nice body of work to where everything's similarly done and I have a few more ideas of putting bodies of work together and I feel like that maybe that that's what I need to do to get more motivated is to just get a really nice body of work with everything being a little similar theme and just kind of go from there and um, another update is that I have officially become a student at svslearn.com. Um, and if you don't know, Will Terrier, Jake Parker, um, they have channels on YouTube and I will link them in the video description below. They're awesome and they're awesome teachers. And um, I, I decided to cancel my Sketchbox and sign up for SVS Learn in place of that. Um, I do feel like I want to learn a lot more about color theory and composition and things that I probably should have already learned that, <laughs> you know, I was a little, you know how like when you're younger, you just feel like you just want to go and you want to do anything that people tell you to do and you just, you just want to make what you want to make. But now I want my pieces to be a lot more well put together and come to find out that a lot of artists actually spend a very long time planning and thumbnailing and concept sketching and I've never done any of that before so um, I really want to dip my hands into that and spend a lot more time actually designing my pieces and learning about color theory and you know which colors go together um, you know and just really practice my values and just really put a lot of time and effort into my art because I do really want to get a lot better and I always want to keep improving and just already from doing art consistently for a year I've already improved so much so I'm really excited to see um, down the road once I put all of the composition and uh, perspective things and values and color theory and all the stuff that I learned from sbslearn.com into practice I'm really excited to see how much I'm going to improve in the next year so <laughs> um, look forward to seeing um, a bunch of improvements from me I hope and um, there's nothing wrong with Sketchbox I just I decided that I had <laughs> you know quite a bit of art supplies and I decided that I would actually I didn't need any more art supplies for the moment and um, I just wanted to take some classes and you know I I love Sketchbox and the products are still really great and if I find a box that come out that I really like I will probably go and buy it um, and I might pick it up again later after I'm done learning or whatever but <laughs> you know so basically long story short I canceled Sketchbox for now and I decided to do SVS Learn and I ended up saving $15 so um I will leave all that information in the links below so you guys can check that out if you want to and I will leave Jake and Will Terry's um, channels linked down below as well so you can check them out. They're great and they're, they're awesome teachers and it's just really cool to see them in the teaching element. So yeah, that's pretty much what has been going on. Um, just finishing up the sky here and putting some final touches in really upping my contrast on him and really trying to put the darks in there and I started to um, experiment with hatching and cross hatching on the the feathers around his eyes because they're just they're so detailed and they were so hard to get and I was just so over this piece that I just I wanted it to be done but I wanted it to look nice so I really liked the way the hatching and cross hatching um, that I'm doing right now came out and then I go ahead and finish this piece up with a white charcoal pencil 
for the highlights. And like I said, I'm really happy with how this came out. It probably would have came out a lot better if I would have reserved some of the white um, when I was doing the water soluble. I didn't realize that you couldn't. Uh, once you add water to the water soluble graphite, it doesn't um, let you erase really well. So I had to come back on with the white charcoal pencil that I'm using now and add some highlights and finished this guy up a little bit. And I, like I said, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. And, um, oh, before I forget, I have prints available of this piece over on my website at kellypaints.com. And here's the finished product. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.